pray there are my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. May the Father show grace upon you all and myself in these last days. And we thank him for Yeshua and thank him for his Holy Spirit and his grace, which abounds in these last days. I wanted to go over um, this dream that I had a while. It wasn't a while back, but <clears throat> I believe it was about a week ago, two weeks ago. And I should have put it out. I'm going to have, I decided to go ahead and put it out today. All right, um, this dream is about no longer people in these last days no longer heed sound doctrine, and I didn't know that until I began to pray for two individuals that I work with. <clears throat> these two individuals that I work with profess Christianity, but their fruit does not bear their faith, okay, so with that, I just started praying to the Lord, and I said, maybe then the Lord would just convict them and change their lives, just as he changed my lives, my life, okay? So I remember um, one night that I laid down and I prayed for these two individuals that the Lord may convict their hearts to change them, to convert, and to um, basically walk according to his will, okay? To con truly convert to not, not only profess to be a Christian, but walk that walk. So I prayed for these two individuals, lifting up their names before the Lord. <clears throat> and then I went to bed. I went to sleep. When I went to sleep, so the thing is, I would have vivid dreams, but then there's sometimes I would have I would get utterances, and when I receive utterances, there's no dreams. Okay, it's just utterances. And then after the utterances, I would wake up. All right? So after I prayed for them, I received utterances, not a dream. In this utterances, I mean, I felt compassion for these individuals because I see myself in the same shoes, professing to be a Christian, yet not walking the walk. Okay, and I said, well, if the Lord is able to change me, he's able to change them too. So I started praying for them. When I went to bed, the utterances that I kept getting, I get, I got about, it was about three or four, maybe five, the same wording. And it's, the wording was, they will no longer heed sound doctrine. Or, I'm sorry, no longer will they heed sound doctrine. The voice just kept saying it over and over in my dream. No longer will they heed sound doctrine. Again, no longer will they heed sound doctrine. I mean, the voice just kept saying it over and over. The voice wasn't loud. It was just me speaking to you how I'm speaking to you now. No longer will they heed sound doctrine. No longer will they heed sound doctrine. I mean, you see in Scripture how the Lord... If you read Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah, he repeats the same stuff over and over. Throughout Scripture, the Lord says the same stuff over and over. And it's just for us to, um, I guess, it seems like it's for, for it to sink in. For the utterances to repeat it, right when it got done repeating it, I quickly woke up. It's like it forced me to wake up. And when I woke up, I repeated out of my mouth what I was hearing in my dream. No longer will they heed sound doctrine. And right when he said that in my dream, I already knew what he was talking about. He was talking about the, my prayer when I was praying for these people, that the Lord may convict their hearts. So when he's saying that, we're basically literally living in these last days where people who profess Christianity will no longer heed sound doctrine. It's like there will be no convicting. The heart is made stone. Some, not all, will come back to the Lord. Okay? And then I went back to bed again. And when I, be, when I went back to bed, I had a dream of two individuals. They were not the people that I was praying for, though. It was two individuals. <clears throat> and I um, heard their conversation from afar. And they said, quote, unquote, quote, 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 Ali is God. They didn't say the Muslim God, Allah. They said Ali 
A L I. And then I looked up when I woke up. Okay, the, the dream continues, but I'm gonna tell you when I, I um looked up the word Ali means elevated one or high. Okay, so they said, but mind you, in this dream, it was made known to me that they were believers once believers, but now they switched up. It's like they they were serving some other god. Okay, they said Ali is God. But in my dream, when I heard these two women speaking to each other, it's like they were uh, praising a different God, not Jehovah. And I walked up to them, and I said, what you are doing right now is prophesied in Scripture about the last days. And they just looked at me and started listening. And I remember um, before I woke up, I was saying to these women, I mean, these two individuals, these women, I mean, with all the power and strength and confirmation. And I don't know if I was angry, but I was justifying it. I said, Jehovah is God. And then when I said that, I woke up. So I thought I'd put this video out there about the utterances that I received and also the dream that I received, praying for individuals that I would think their hearts will be converted over, that I would think that as we continue to go on um, through these last days, uh, especially since America's judgment is coming, that the Lord may open their eyes, and through calamity, that the Lord may open their eyes, and that they may convert unto him, because sometimes we need trouble, people need trouble in their lives in order for them to give their lives over to the Lord. Okay, but no. As I was praying for for them that the Lord may convict their hearts, utterances. Basically, saying they will no longer heed sound doctrine. This sound doctrine is convert and give your full life unto the Lord. They will no longer, as it said in Second Timothy, they will be lovers of self, boasters and proud, lovers of money, having the form of godliness yet denying the power they in. This is this basically describes these two individuals that I was praying for. This basically describes my life when I lived in sin, but the Lord changed me. But I said, okay, if the Lord changed me, he can change these two people. So I was over here praying for these two people, but I did not receive these utterances. So with that, no longer he is sound doctrine to convert back over to the Lord, to live righteous and holy by his name. These individuals may end up Submitting to some other God and not Jehovah. My brothers and sisters, like I say in these uh, other videos, you have brothers and sisters that are truly kin, blood, blood, brothers and sisters. Not everybody will access the kingdom of heaven, though they profess God as being Lord. There's some people, their names just are not written in the book of life. There's some that go to church every Sunday, every Wednesday. They have a Bible. But their names are not written in the book of life. God chooses people. You have done nothing to say, oh, I, 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 I am. Uh, basically, you, you have, you have not done nothing to say that to boast in why God chose you. No, God just shows you. You could be the worst person in the whole world. If God chooses you, you're justified. If He works in your life. You're justified. Nobody can say anything. This is what I've seen in this. This is what I realized after I wake, after I woke up. It took me a while to put out this video because I wanted it to marinate. I need I needed to get more understanding to see and to understand why what's going on. I would have kept praying for them, and I'm gonna still pray for them. I'm gonna still pray for them. That's what we ought to do. I'm gonna still pray for them. That the Lord may change his heart or that he may convict them to truly change through the calamities that are due to come in America. Y'all take care.